Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a vision board but also I'm going to show you the process of me making mine. Just to give a little bit of a background I'm not going to go into sort of the reasons behind making a vision board too much. There are lots of informative videos that will be able to explain it way better than I will. So what I'm gonna do is just give you a little bit of a summary and then I will actually go into showing you how I make mine and how you can make one for yourself. And then also there will be a giveaway at the end of this video. Let's get started. The reason for a vision slash mood board is basically to have something physical in front of you that you can see with pictures or even sometimes like little objects that relate to the goals that you have in your life, the things that you want to bring into your life or work towards. If you haven't heard of the law of attraction before, then obviously it's going to be a bit of a new concept. As I mentioned, I will link some material down below, other people's videos that explain it in a lot more detail. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a summary on what it actually is so that you can understand and have a bit of an idea to this video. So, simply put, the law of attraction is the ability to attract into our lives whatever we're focusing on. It is a law of attraction which uses the power of the mind to translate whatever is in our thoughts and materialise them into reality. In basic terms, all thoughts turn into things eventually. It's a whole book on the law of attraction. It's quite a well-known one. It's called The Secret. You probably would have heard of it if you haven't read it. If you are a little bit cynical about stuff like this, which I totally understand, if years ago, if you would have told me that like, everything you think about will ultimately come true, I probably would have been like, oh, whatever. But recently, actually, I've come to realise that I have actually been able to manifest a lot of things into my life unconsciously without actually going through the process that's listed in this book. So for example, a couple of things in my life that I have spent a lot of time thinking about and not actually really understood the law of attraction whilst it was going on is there are a few things. Seven years ago, I stumbled across a bit of a well-known YouTuber called Carly Bible and I just discovered this whole world of YouTube and makeup and makeup tutorials. I started watching it and was mesmerized and I remember thinking, I would love to do that. Like, that is my dream. Seven years later, I'm sat here explaining to you, as a YouTuber, that that has come true. I used to sit and imagine that I was gonna be a YouTuber. I used to do my makeup in the mirror and be like, so next I'm taking this little product. Now I'm sat here and I do that. The second thing was I really wanted to be a makeup artist and I've now been a makeup artist for I think almost four years now. Also, when I was younger, I used to dream of driving an Audi. Like I used to sit when I was like 14 and look at like Auto Trader and look at all these cars and be like, I wish I had that. I now drive one. Whether you realize it or not, this might have happened to you. If you really sit and think about things that you might have envisioned and that you maybe you're living them now and you just didn't realize. The purpose of a vision board for me is just to get all of them goals in something in physical form that I can look at on a daily basis, something I can strive towards. For me personally, my vision board is a 2021, so it's for the remaining sort of six months of the year that we have left. Now I'm gonna talk you through the process of getting your goals down and also then creating the vision board. So the first thing that I did before I even started anything on my vision board is I sat down with literally a pen and paper and started writing out the things that I want to achieve in the next six months. Rules when setting goals are, number one, be specific. I was very specific. You have to be very specific with your goals. You can't just say, I want to be rich. Rich isn't specific enough. You could also say, I want to lose weight. But it could be, well, do you want to look like this? Do you want to weigh a certain number? It has to be specific. It's a really exciting process. You really have to sit and think about what it is that you want. What do you truly desire? Because this doesn't work if you don't really want something. Number two is, I mean, you can't sit there and say, I want to earn 10 million pounds in the next six months. The reality of that happening, you know, so, so small in that time scale. So I would make things a little bit more realistic, but they also have to be something that gets you excited. So if you say, I really want 100 pound in my savings in the next six months, you could probably do more than that. You need to aim high and not aim too low. It has to be that sweet spot in the middle. So you're excited about it. It scares you a little bit, but you still feel like you can achieve it. It explains a lot more about that in The Secret. I recommend getting that if you wanted to know a little bit more or watching the videos linked down below. And then the third one is not to overload yourself with too many things. I've got a handful of stuff on mine. If you go writing 15 different things down, that's way too many thoughts to have floating around your mind 
and things to focus on. Once you've got all of your goals wrote down, you're ready to go. The next thing I started doing was, luckily for me, I already had my Pinterest boards with a few little ideas, especially when it comes to my weight loss goal. If you want to buy a house, you'd have a picture of the kind of house that you want to buy and maybe some things inside, stuff that gets you excited, things that are related to that goal. So I started printing pictures off and I literally just printed them off on paper. I just sized them up against the board that I had purchased and printed them off, literally as simple as that. So I had the board delivered from Amazon and then I really wanted mine to look sort of really pretty and a little bit more appealing to the eyes. Just some things to decorate it. This isn't necessary, this is optional. I just wanted something that was pretty to look at, something that got me excited that I enjoy having on display in my room. I literally picked up my cork board. I got some rose gold glittery card because that was sort of like the theme that I wanted to go for. I also got these like really cute little gold rose gold lettering, some feathers, I purchased some super glue and I ended up finding some like artificial flowers in my room that I don't use anymore that I was able to cut up and put on there. And I also picked up these little cute clear rose gold drawing pins as well. So the next thing that I did before I actually created my vision board in physical form was I created a mock-up. So I used Canva to make my mock-up and started putting the pictures where I imagined they would go on the board. This actually really helped me and it was another really exciting step. Once I had all the stuff together, then I literally just sat down, I put a little bit of music on and I really enjoyed the experience of creating it. And then I just started placing all of the pictures in the places that I wanted them to. I started cutting out some of like the glittery cards and like creating all the little things around in the heart and where I would like things. Then once they were all down, I made sure I was happy with the placement of everything. And what I'll do is I will go through my goals a little bit uh, towards the end of the video. I need to explain the actual context behind the pictures. So once I had them all down, I started using the pins to put them in. I didn't want to super glue too many things to the board because I do plan on using it again once 2020 is up for next year. So I basically just started pinning all of the photos down and then I started adding some little decorative stuff. I actually printed off some really cute like fill photos, so some like clouds and flowery stuff just so it could sort of fill the board out really nicely. So once I'd got all of like the feathers and I popped some really cute flowers on there to make it look really really nice. I actually got really overwhelmed seeing all of that in one place was like whoa like it was exciting but it was scary and it also makes me a bit nervous but it makes me so excited for the future and I think that's a really good place to be in when you're thinking about the things that you want to achieve. There is a really good saying that's like a perfect way to explain how you should think about your goals so it's something like shoot for the moon and even if you don't get there you'll land among the stars something like that and I really think that's such a beautiful quote like if you aim really low you're probably going to get really low. If you aim really high and you don't actually manage to get there but you might reach here then you've still got way further than you would have done if you was putting some really like reasonable goals on there. What I'm going to do now is go through some of the goals that are on my board and explain a little bit more about them because they probably won't make much sense up to now. So here is my vision board. It still makes me really, really excited when I actually look at this. Like, I just can't believe the things that I've put down. And before I go through these, I do just want to say, like, please be really kind with this. This is quite a personal thing and most people keep goals private, but I really wanted to help other people be able to set and achieve, oh, <laughs> to be able to set and achieve their goals and to be able to create vision boards like this. I feel like I couldn't have done it without actually sharing in what my goals are. Please be kind um, with this. I know that some people can be a little bit mean on YouTube. So, you know, but I mean, it shouldn't bother me. It really shouldn't, but I'm only human. Okay, so for this area over here on the vision board, this is relating to my weight loss goals. So I've actually wanted to lose weight for quite a while now, and I've sort of been up and down, but I feel like I've never really believed that I can do it. And I used to focus on trying to get away from being overweight rather than focusing on what I was going to, which is, I think, why I've not been successful. Since reading the book, it actually has a section in The Secret about weight loss, has really helped me identify some of the issues that I have in terms of weight. So this side is focused on the things that, one, I want to look like, and two, the kind of clothing that I would wear if I was, not if, 
when, when I am able to reach this goal and that really excites me. And then up this side is more YouTube and makeup focused. So in terms of YouTube, I really want to be able to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Someone might go and look at my subscribers now and be like, girl, you're not going to reach that. I am. I'm going to get there. And yeah, so I felt like that was a number that was like exciting and quite big, but it's not like I'm going, do you know what? I want a million subscribers by the end of the year. I would really love to be on a PR list by the end of the year as well. So that is one of my goals. And then moving down into sort of this section here, this is to do with my finances. So I made some pretty silly mistakes in when I was younger in terms of like credit card and overdrafts and stuff like that. I am gonna do a separate video on that kind of thing and how I've been able to pay a lot of that off. But I still have a little bit to go, so I would really, really like it if I had zero credit card debt by the end of the year and also some savings. So that is that bit. And then this bottom right area is actually about me moving out. So we are actually moving house in, I'm gonna put this down now because my arm's aching. I actually live with my parents and my little brother at the minute, but I am looking to move into my own place sort of by the end of the year, potentially maybe like January time. I was planning on having it like correlate with them moving, but I've decided to go with them for a few months um, just to get some more stuff sorted and then I'll be moving after that. So I would really like to be, if not moved out, at least in a position where I'm pretty much ready to go. So I hope that I explained and showed you the process really well in this video on how you can create your own vision board. I will have left some materials down below if you want to learn a little bit more about it before you start setting your goals because I think without the context of the way the law of attraction works, you could end up putting it down on the board and thinking that it'll just come true. It's another really important thing that you can't just put on this board a picture of someone's body and be like I want that by the end of the year then sit back and be like so I'm excited for the end of the year I'm gonna look like that and not do anything so you can't just sort of write something down and it'll magically come true it's it's a law of the universe it's not magic so if your goal for example is to be able to run a marathon by the end of the year but you don't do any running it's not gonna happen is it like you have to be able to do stuff So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I am doing a giveaway. I really want someone to have the opportunity to create your own vision board slash mood board, whichever way you want to look at it. And I'm actually giving away all of the things that you need to create one. So literally everything that I used in the video to be able to create your own, the only thing you'll have to do is obviously write your goals and print them off yourself because that's not something I can do for you. I'm really excited about doing this. I just wanted to be able to give someone else the opportunity to do this in their life and I hope that it does resonate with some people and that you enjoyed watching this video all you have to do to enter the giveaway is literally comment your instagram handle down below and be subscribed that is it i will be choosing a winner on saturday the 25th of july which is actually my birthday um i thought it might be quite special to announce a winner on my birthday and be like a little bit of a birthday giveaway. I will pop all of the terms and conditions in the description box down below. Please make sure you read them before entering. If you do have any questions, please just let me know, comment them down below, or if you'd rather ask me privately, message me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram on the screen. Just ask me, like I'm, I'm more than happy to help and I hope that this does help you in terms of achieving the things that you want to achieve in your life. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you did like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you here again very, very soon. Thank you. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been